has managed to get himself up to help out Oscar Onley for uh, Team DSM. In fact, they've got numbers here. Uh, just starting to roll with it. And Milan still there. That's uh, Cyril Gautier just tucked in as well as we make the transition. Uh, 1,400 metres to go. And here we are onto the gravel section right now. It pinches up. And this is where you really have to dig in. Now, the road uh, zips all over the place, this uh, gravel country road. What have you got? Milan's got plenty by the looks of things. I think this is an investment. Here is uh, uh, Freyle in uh, wheel three just now. Don't be surprised if he helps himself to something here, Brian. Yeah, they're still waiting and nobody kind of striking out for the moment. Um, so it's kind of holding part of Norma Frawley propped on the front. The race leader, Milan, is there. You're on his finger, go over towards the barriers in the, in the right-hand side. So it's kind of waiting to the road really starts oh. to get a, get a lot steeper. Oh, he's really making a nuisance of himself, brilliantly so, and Milan still kicks on. This is fantastic. Now, Milan wants uh, to, to embed himself in this race, and in our thoughts, he kicks on. Vinger goes on his wheel, Onley's with him as well, and Milan, for a big man, is absolutely flying up here, but here comes Omar Freyle, uh, just sails pie only now, then past Vinger go, and this is Freyle's kind of terrain. He's kicking on here, brilliantly so, and then plonks back down in the saddle. Uh, just causes a bit of disengagement for Onley. It's clever stuff, clever working, and you can see the uh, the striations in the road here uh, to help uh, vehicles grip as they're trying to get up this kind of ramp, and it's it's hellish out there. This is uh, 10, 12, and more percent. Freyle just almost grinding to a halt. Vigor goes still there, and Milan is still in the frame. This is absolutely remarkable by the big man, and now I believe uh, coming through, it is Mohoric that just comes through. Is he working for Milan? Is he going to work him over and help himself here? Vigor go is ready to go. Fingy go is just sitting and waiting. Does he have the legs? That's the question. Only goes again. Uh, Vingago is, is here and it looks like he may well be uh, his day today. Vingago looking absolutely fantastic. Can he possibly impose himself? Milan's gone. Uh, this is uh, Mohoric uh, that also wants to join the frame. Fire, 25 metres to go. My goodness, what a battle this is for the line. Are we going to see something very, very special here? Vingago takes it. Oh, fabulous racing. Vingago gets there and just look what they had to deal with at the very last here, Brian. Absolutely amazing there from my line. I reckon, think, I really think that um, he held on to the race lead there. I didn't think he'd be able to do that, but what a final that was. Vingigo, the favourite, takes it, but I think. Um, with the Milan starting. This is the monument of the Madonna of uh, Loreto, and I must say it's a it's a beautiful uh, rendition. I love that, and I loved our finale today. Uh, the frame today for the victory and it's coming back together. Still, I don't think that uh, Finger Girl and Onley fear this group. Oh, but hip, yeah, here it is. We uh, we thought he may well have um, an instinct to go for it. I said a, a, a wee while ago, I can imagine him bridging over and then having some fun. Finger Girl is going to struggle to stay with these guys now because he's, he's basically put a lot into the last lap or the previous lap, I should say. Four and a half kilometres only, Brian. Yeah, the second group know that they're not as strong as the six riders that are in front. Uh, that's very clear, and that was a, a perfect opportunity to go on the oh. counter move here, and Hamilton wow. tried to do it yet again. What a fantastic move by him. He goes off, um, asks the question, and uh, it is Martin that goes on his back wheel, and suddenly Bahrain starts to pick it up. They're trying to tee this one up. Uh, it's Butraga that's engaged in the chase so that Matty Mohoric can sit in. Um, there he is on about... Uh, fifth or sixth wheel of the chase Hamilton doing a fantastic job on behalf of Onley, if Onley wins today he's going to have to give a big thank you to Hamilton and it'll be Vingago versus uh, Onley I think in his wake if Pierre Roland does get home if he can find the climbing legs that uh, uh, that he, he's had in the past on the likes of Von Tour and the Galibier let's see whether he, uh, he manages today um, tucks in on that two kilometers to go and still only and Vingago go looking at each other it looks like they may well be seeing bonus seconds disappear up the road so it'll be a measure just between the pair of them that suits Vingago go with no bonus seconds or indeed those bonus seconds just being snuffed out when does Vingago go and only impose themselves when do they go Hamilton still doing a job but uh, finally runs out of resources pulls to the side of the road so only is now going to be on his own uh, that will be with Vingago, go but Pierre Roland 1300 meters away from uh, victory today so when does finger go go 
Well, he'll take a litter fine for that, presumably, but uh, uh, maybe should have dispensed with it a little bit earlier. Let's see how strict they are in that regard. It's a bit cagey behind Roland, who's got a margin here, Brian, as he heads for the Flamme Rouge. And it is Hamilton that's still driving it on. Fantastic effort by him. Uh, others are not finished with this day just yet at all. And uh, Albanese, um, wearing number 77 in the, the blue here, may well try and uh, pose something of a surprise later on. I think he's going to uh, tie up, unfortunately, on the, on the incline. All eyes on Vingago. Uh, five seconds now, the gap as declared. Uh, it may well be a little bit more than that. Here is Pierre Roland. Let's, uh, let's count it back. It's more than that, and Roland's going to make it. I think Morand is going to make it. We're on this uh, final little incline. Sorry, they've uh, they've pulled out uh, the the uh, the distance to go marker, but you know where we are. Uh, so time to climb, and it's Only that strikes out, and it's Vingago that goes onto his back wheel. He's almost been tempted into this. Uh, the white jersey on the back of Only with uh, Vingago in the frame here, and here comes uh, Alex <coughs> Axel Laurence, who uh, had a good job, uh, did a good job yesterday. Can't quite make it stick. Petrago's there. Pierre Roland may well get to the line. I think it's going to be a stage win potentially for him. But only still in the frame. Mati Mohoric is managing to hold on to them. And everyone wants to come and join the party right now. Who's saved something? Laurence gets out of the saddle. Can't make any inroads whatsoever. Uh, you can see Rivera as well just trying to go for it. And Vingago comes up and over the top. And so, so it is Vingago with Mohoric still here. Uh, there is Only gets onto the back wheel of Vingago. Pierre Roland is out of it. Vingago still there and Only has got something. Has he got anything? Can he possibly come round? Vingago at the line. Go it's on. going to be the same, the pair of them. Oh, and he bounces the back wheel. Only's going to get up on here, is he? Not quite. Oh, my goodness. What a battle that was. Vingago takes it ahead of Only and Mohoric. What a finale that was. Oh, Only has been brilliant. Now, if he can regather himself for tomorrow, you just never know. Wow! What a finish, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent finish. Pierre Roland just is tying up towards the end. It was just a matter of time. Vingigo was just waiting to go there. But, yeah, Oscar only second again. You know, be second in the general classification. But this man had to work hard for it yet again, courtesy of the, the young Scott. Well, nice to see them sharing a conversation here.